this is, we're already filming this. I was not ready for this. Why? Because I wasn't expecting this. So just put it on Bam because she's cute. I gotta rehearse my lines over here. I'm rehearsing my lines. See, look, that's where my lines are. They're here in my hand. I write, I write them on my hand. What do you think, Bam? You outside running around? Anyways, tell me what the video's about. You're buying that. Uh, I'm gonna buy a car. The, which one? They're gonna see. Should I, should I tell them or no? I mean, they'll probably see in the thumbnail, so. Bro. That, yeah. You're really gonna do that's it. What this life, that's what life's all about buying shit. Fuck. You sure? Mm hmm. Okay. Let's do this shit. Bams, hold down the fort. We'll be back. You know texting and driving is bad, right? I'm texting and tweeting, bro. So it's different. It's different when you text and tweet. Also, when you te when you drive and Snapchat, there's like two different things. Texting and driving is definitely a no-go. But when it has to do with social media, since I'm like one with the social media internets, uh, it's like a part of me. It's okay. You know? So if a cop pulled you over and they're like, hey, no texting and driving, like, oh, officer, I was not. The cop pulled me over the other day and was like, bro, he was like, yo, Bradley. And I was like, yeah, what up? And he was like, yo, that one video. And I was like, yeah, tweet me. And then I drove away tweeting and we tweeted each other like as he was driving away in the cop car, as I was driving away in my car. Yeah. yeah. It's like a get out of text and drive jail for free. Uh, but yeah, so we're driving to uh, this dealership. I'm going to buy a car. Brand new ass car. Brand new? Brand as fuck. Like a, like a Prius. Like a Prius. Like a red Prius. I don't know about that, dude. No? Why not? I mean, what else, what else matters, bro? I mean, life's about buying stuff that's nice, isn't it? <laughs> right? I don't know about that. I thought that's what it's all about. I thought that's what especially the, like fitness YouTube's about. <laughs> I think it's just about buying shit and stunning. <laughs> yeah, so we're gonna buy this car, but I'll show you guys when we get there. I'll yeah. show you guys, don't worry. Which one are you gonna get, bro? Well, I want the red one, but we're gonna start this blue one up. Okay. Yeah. The, uh, the red one, uh, Aventador? Or? Yeah. But that's, yeah. Actually, they're mellow. They, when they run, they run very mellow. They're not all out. We'll run that one too. All right. Just give us a deposit on Oh, not that bad. Another bad? Nah, it's actually way better than yeah. that. Lift up that red safety switch. Push and hold the button until she fires up. You ready? Yeah. Okay, do it. Not recognized. Hold back the key. Try it again. Not recognized, hold back of key you know against marked area. Do they want me to put it somewhere? No, we'll lock it. Well, let me close the door and open it again. Okay. You should, no, this one's better because it matches your shirt. This one matches my shirt, You gotta true. get a red shirt. I gotta get a red shirt to drive the red car. <laughs> I gotta get red shoes, too. It's all gotta match, and I can have leggings that match, too. Yeah? Yeah. I like the sound of that. That was dope. I like these cars. Oh, way more comfortable. Way more comfortable. Yeah. Let's see which is key it is. It's that one. Yeah. Same deal. Fire one up. That's the seatbelt, baby. Keep it, no, no, keep it pressed all the way down. <laughs> it's 
say I don't run them all that often. Push and hold. That's the one. This is the one? That's definitely the one, bro. Without a doubt. The most expensive one. Just yeah. like that. <laughs> <laughs> and then that hedral door is just because, you know. When did this car first came out in 2012, right? Yeah. yeah. Leave it open, leave it open. Oh, yeah. yeah. Damn. Yeah. What do you think? Killer bad, bro. Ass. Yeah. Killer bad. What do you think? Uh, I mean. What do you think? We're here. Yeah, I'm not gonna buy that car, bro. Well, we just talk, well, what, what about the deal you're he got gave you a good deal. We're just yeah. going through the paperwork. Yeah. We couldn't film in the office, but. You know what, so look, look. Here's why I wanted to make this video, okay? Um, I've noticed, and I actually just put a video on my YouTube about visions and goals and like doing one thing at a time, focusing on like the journey in between, right? And the reason why I did this video, I went in there, I sat in a car, I took a picture, the, the thumbnail was like, I bought a car, right? You guys are in this video right now because you're like, Brad bought a car and it's a fucking Lambo and it's red and he's sitting in it. And I, and I understand why people get so excited about seeing like that, that car, right? Um, I think people though fail to realize that it's not just about that end goal, right? Because there's so much that comes along the way to get to that end goal. So no, I didn't buy a car today. Will I buy a car? I have a car. Will I buy another car? Absolutely. Will I buy... Fancy shit, why not, right? Because some people, and I know I do, I have, cer I have certain goals, right? I have things I wanna do. I have things that I set out when I was a young kid and I was like, these are things that I really want. I want a nice house, I want a nice car. Um, you know, I wanna live comfortably. I wanna be able to support my family. So those are all like big goals. Those are like big end game goals. Like you see, you see me here like sitting in this car, starting these cars up, um, trying them out. But I think a lot of people fail to realize that there's so much that goes on before that moment, right? So I always find it funny how like people on YouTube, you know, it's, it's like a clickbait title basically right now where everyone's like, oh shit, he bought a car, he's in the red, I wanna see that. And everyone is excited about that, that moment. And they forget that like, you know, the video I just posted about the vision and the goals, that video, I guarantee you 100% will have less views than this video. Because it's a video that's not about that end result, right? It's a video that's gonna help you get to that end result. So everyone's like, they're excited about that thing, but they failed to look at the little things along the way like, and I'm just using this as an example in fitness, right? All like the, the workout routine videos and all these things like certain videos will get less views because it's not as exciting, right? Because it's it's the work. It's the, it's the time that you have to do to get to that end result. There's no magic way. There's no like magic route, right? So people pick and choose what they wanna see, but the reality is like, I'm just trying to show you guys like, if you look at the views of that video or the other videos that I've done, the older videos about confidence, um, the other videos about, which, which other videos we got? We got the, um, uh, so many, so many, like my life story videos, the videos that are like just me basically teaching you guys things that, things that I've learned along the way to like get to this point in my life. Those videos always get the least amount of views, but like the videos that get the most amount of views is like, yo, he's balling out in the new whip, like this one right here, the clickbait title. Uh, but I said this and I did this just to show you guys, like focus on what you're doing, right? Not just that end result. I know you guys are you're excited about what I'm doing, so obviously you're gonna click on that, you wanna see it, but like, I just find that, that, that ironic, that it's always like going towards that instead of focusing on like the moments that are gonna get you to that, right? And the videos that are gonna help get you to that. Like, cause I'm just teaching you what I've learned and what I continue to learn as much as I can, right? So, I'm saying all this to say, no, I didn't buy that car. Will I buy that car? Eventually, yeah, cause it's been, it's been on my hit list. But what is important in this video is that the car and these things should not be a representation, right? It shouldn't be like, that's your only success, right? I've learned along the way that all those moments, right, where I've met you guys in person, where you guys have told me your stories, where, you, where the people who've come up to me have actually told me about those videos that get less views, right? The ones about life and motivation and confidence. Those are, and have become more so over the last couple 
I'd say like a year and a half a year. The most enjoyable moments for me, and I know I'm getting mushy on you guys, so I'm not gonna go too far into it, but those are the things that have become the most valuable things for me. And I just did this video to kind of fuck with you guys a little bit and to get you guys to realize like what it's really about. And if you wanna to get to a, a really adult place in your life, focus on what you're doing, why you're doing it, and why it's important to you. Like, and, and, and do the shit every day. Whatever you're passionate about, whatever you wanna do, go after it. Cause like, all I've done to get to where I am is I've held myself to a certain standard, right? I've understood there's a certain value that I have. And I've done what I love every single day. And I know that it's not always easy to be like, okay, well, you know, I work at this job over here and I can't necessarily do what I love every day. Cause like, someone might joke and be like, I love having sex or something like that. Then it's like, it'll be a porn star or something. But you might be like, I love something, right? Art. And they might think, oh, I don't know how to make money like with art, right? But you gotta kinda like think about it a little bit differently. Think about like why it is you love it. Can you actually do it? Cause a lot of people get started first, they go like this. I can't do it, you know, because uh, I, I love art or I love music or I love this or that. Oh, it's too hard to do these things. It's too hard to do that. Well, I mean, I'll be truthful and I'll be honest. Like, flash back, like, damn, ten years. Fuck, I'm getting so damn old. And seven years, whatever. And I was at a pot, spot in my life where none of this stuff was even. Like, I'd walk into a fucking Lambo dealership, and like, I'd feel like, oh, this is like, I'm in there like a kid, like trying to take pictures, and like they're kind of scurrying me out because like, why the fuck is this kid in here? Um, to where I am now where it's like, oh, it's like people could actually talk to you, have a real conversation about what's going on because they might look at you a little bit differently based on the things you have in your life. But what I'm saying is I'm trying to get you to realize like I was in the same position where this kind of shit seemed so far off. Like it seemed like extra, extra far off. And all that I've done to get to where I'm at now is those, those little things. The things that like you have to do every day, whatever it is. Like, cause I can't, it's hard to say, but whatever it is that you care about, whatever it is that you're passionate about, whatever it is like how you want to make a living, you, you just have to like, not necessarily give yourself no other options, but you have to start cutting out excuses, cutting out reasons why you can't do it, why it's hard, and start thinking about reasons why you can do it and why it's possible. So that's it, I'm out. I love you guys, I appreciate all the support. Um, you already know so much more coming soon. And what else? That's it, bro. Is that it? Yeah. That's it, I'm out. I love you guys.